Oh, look, there's only a pollen dog beside him. Wow. Okay, that was not. Not that close. That was wow. bad. And we're signing on with more bloody borny. Uh. <laughs> Please, please. I hit the button yourself. by accident, and that's why I, I like, rolled. You did like a pre sneeze. You went, oh. <laughs> did you see me hit the button with the sneeze? No, I didn't. Luckily, I. I mean, all the viewers will see it because I literally like I sneezed and I hit the button at the same time, and so I rolled when I sneezed. That's, I do that in real life. Mm, that's wrong. All right. So just to catch everyone up before I go into the, no one's chasing me, right? Okay. Just to catch everyone up. Before I go into Amelia's room again, um, I leveled up. We're at level 28 now, so I leveled up a good number of times. You did. I also upgraded my weapon to the fullest that I can get it with um, bloodstones or whatever course, the heck. Blood shards yeah. by itself. Um, I need twin blood shards now in order to level up, which I'm not going to really get in this area too much without like looking for them. Um, I So both my weapons, both my saw cleaver and my gun are at max level for that is feasible right now and I finally put blood gems in them which I forgot to do earlier and so that gave them like a huge boost to power as well so I think there's a good chance I can kill him her it, it. It's, a, it's Amelia right yeah well not anymore yeah I don't know what it is now Amelia's a so let's one. let's see um what the damage I do looks like how's that compared to earlier I Ow. think it's a lot better. I think. Yeah, it feels like it's going faster. I mean, it's not super fast, but... No, I mean, but it's a boss. So they're never going to go super fast. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Amelia's also got some tricks, though, that we haven't seen, so... It's very possible that this will end poorly. Um... One thing about Bloodborne bosses that you need to know, like, immediately is you need to pretty much always be on the offensive against them. Like, the idea of, like, wait for an opening... Yep, no. Not a good idea. Gotcha. It's like, make your own opening or get out of the way. Gotcha. Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, oh. Yeah, so that's why you might see, like, literally every time she attacks, I... I go for the, the... I try and get behind her and just start wailing on her. Okay, we're doing alright. Okay. We're actually doing really well. Look at this. You got her down to almost four health. This is going much better. She's, now she's going to start. So, um, uh, most bosses have different phases that yeah, they go yeah, through. Right? Yeah, that makes sense. So once her health gets to a certain point, she's going to start acting differently. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Um, a lot of bosses. Yeah. Amelia doesn't have particularly huge changes, if I remember correctly. Hers are very subtle. Mm. Um, but, oh, oh, oh. But she is going to get a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. And she's going to start using different moves that we've never seen her use. Oh, 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 well, please, well. please, please. Okay, um, now I could keep fighting her, but I think it would actually be better if I kind of start cheesing her with some fire bombs. Yeah, it's over. It's pretty much over. Nice. Is she dead? Oh, she's dead. Pray slaughtered. Wow, that was... Better than I expected it to go. Wow, 15,000 blood echoes she gave me. Like the that wasn't that, that hard, it seemed like. No, it wasn't. It, it I was, mean, like, that wasn't easy, but no, it didn't seem like it was impossible. Uh, I mean, I, I definitely did a lot of preparing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. And now we get a cutscene. Yep. Vic, that's her uh, Vicar Amelia skull. That's me. That's a really good point, Michael. Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. Am I Willem? Who's this? That's Willem Dafoe. Nope. No. Well, you think it's someone else? It's John Cena. I tell you, I but I can see him. him. Please don't. <laughs> what do you mean? We are it's just a fact. 
made, made men by, by the blood, undone by the blood. That's a really that's a from? really famous quote from this game. Did we find out where the plague came from. Yes, yeah. yes. yes, that is the end game. Gotcha. I must take um, my leave. Potentially, there's three endings to this game. Oh, really? Okay. And only only one of them do you actually kind of get to the bottom of the blood. We're gonna try and get the best ending. So, okay, all right. Um, it might require a little finagling, but. This guy is telling you to fear the old blood. Okay. I um, do. As you should. It turns people Check. into werewolves. Yep, yep. Understood. On it. Got it. Fearing it. Okay. So now I can go into that next area that I was just talking about with the... Um... The grinding? No. I mean, we could do that if you want to go fight the blood-starved beast. Oh, no. I mean, what was the other thing you were going to say? Um, do you remember I, I went there a couple episodes ago? Maybe one ep I don't know how many episodes it's been. Um, but it was, um... Everyone gained up on you and murdered you there? No, I went to a big door, and I couldn't open the door. I don't remember that. I kind of did it really fast. I went up to the door, and I, and I said, oh, I can't go through this door yet. I don't remember because that, I don't right? have the password. Uh, yeah, it let's was very, it. it was very quick. Now I have the password. Okay, let's do it. Let's. Was it just, open sesame? It was open sesame. Um. I don't want to deal with. I just need like a tiny bit more money. I maybe I shouldn't have sold that. I kind of feel bad selling that. Very old man. Um. Oh, are you kidding me? I need five hundred more. Mm, I need five hundred more echoes. What else can I sell? I need. I want the torch. I want those also. Mm, Five hundred echoes. Just come out. Kind of a twenty fifteen. Bloodborne. I want a twenty fifteen. Oh. You might need twenty fifteen. Yeah. Okay, you got it. I nice. I don't have anything to sell, so I guess we're just gonna go for it. I had the blood drunk. Oh, um, I have the DLC. That's what that was. Grand Cathedral. Old Yarn Cathedral. Um, I have the DLC. Okay, gotcha. Um, and so if we wanted to, we could play the DLC. Oh, that's pretty I'm cool. probably gonna skip it for the channel. Yeah, just I Just because gotcha. it's it's pretty tough, and not necessary. I'm reading about um, when this thing came out right now. How is that more than one sentence long? Well, I mean, like how uh, there might be, is there a sequel to it as well? Oh, no, they've never, not that they've, I've ever heard. I thought I heard Blood, I thought I saw Bloodborne, Bloodborne 2. Too? Really? That'd be awesome, I'm hoping. I haven't heard that, if there is. This was originally dubbed Project Beast. That's, That's not groundless. Cool. Um, so the next boss that we have to fight is I believe called the Shadows of Yarnum. I love the Shadows of Yarnum. And now we're starting to get into the point when the bosses are gonna get kind of tough. Well, they have been kind of tough. Yeah. Good they, evening. They have been. Oh, I don't want to deal with that guy. They have been. Um, but they get worse. They get worse. The yeah. Shadows are kind of tricky. And you'll see why when we get there. Oh, it's our friend Alfred. Hello. Oh, now, just tell me. I don't want to talk to you. So let's see. Can you guess what the password is? Um, Bloodborne. Really good guess. Silence, my brother. Fear the old blood. I don't know why it's super creepy. Because he was just talking to us. And mm. Then when you open the door, he's just already he like reminds me of the night mother. Oh, he is a little night mother-esque. Wow, that's gross. Night mother was gross. Yeah, it was. And then we had to hide in the coffin with her. Yeah, I didn't like that scene. I'm not gonna lie to you. Forbidden Woods. Um, Did we have to hide in the coffin? We couldn't just put a cup to the door and listen to him. That's what I'm saying. 
Where are you going now? Um, so now we need to get to the Shadows of Yarnum. Oh, these are the tough ones? Yes. Well, they're kind of special. That's kind of why they're tough. Okay. Um, it actually, this is probably going to be... Okay. Hello. Not an easy... Okay. Really bad. Really bad. Really bad already. Really bad already. They murdered me quick. Oh my Goodness. gosh. Whoa. Oh, yeah, they there's do a, a lot of I damage. mean, there's a big... Okay, so this guy's... I need, I need like... Okay. I really kind of need to get to a torch, actually. Because, um... I have enough to level. I think there's a torch right up ahead, though. I don't want to die. I have a exactly yeah, or a lantern, not a torch. Okay, so these this, guys are really violent, dude. Yeah, they suck. Um, this is actually kind of funny because, um, I literally I know this area kind of well right now mm -hmm. because I literally just guided my roommate. Through oh, this whole area nice. to get to the shadows of Yarnum. Very nice. So, hopefully, I still remember it. This is the most confusing area of the game because it's a giant woods, <gasps> and there's like a million yeah. branching paths. It's a very annoying. You know what I'm gonna play on the channel too? What? I think my next one will be, will be Wolfenstein. Oh, Wolfenstein will be a good one. I, I can play it. It's tough though. So I can't just take it. Yeah. Off. Oh, that would actually be really fun. Kind of violent. It would be fun to watch. Yeah, we should do that. All right. So now I upgraded my saw cleaver to plus four. Even better. All right. It's been a long time since I played it too. It's been like three or three years or so. Yeah. I mean, I, I I'd watch that. I've never seen Wolfenstein. I it's actually fun know fun and it's hard. Very little about it, other than like the basic premise. It's it could be like on the super high difficulty, it's impossible. Which 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 that. one? Wolfenstein and then the New Order and then uh, New, New Colossus, I think. Well, which one would you play though? Huh? Which one would you play? The well, the first, the New Order, the one that start, there's a there's a two that like, there's a 2015 and like 2017 one. I'd play mm -hmm. those two. Very good. Those two I've played. They were really, really good. Okay, I'm gonna try and gun through this area as I as I am wont to do. Check this out. This is super annoying. Oh, that's yep. There's just there's, there's just be it contrast traps in this area trying to kill you, kill you dead. I thought Guerrilla Warfare was named after gorillas until I was about 14 years old. You know. I don't want to say I thought the same thing until right now, but the thought does occur to me that I don't know why it's called that. Yeah, I don't know why it's called that. I just know it's spelled differently. Yeah, well, that's what I was about to say. Yeah. Is, But I still kind of thought it was based on the same idea. Maybe it is. I don't know. Well, now I'm curious. It can't be. I'll look up why it's called that. I think it's actually named after someone. Uh, that wouldn't surprise me. You want to see a cannon? What? Huh? Check out, there's a cannon here. I like cannons. Do you? I do, actually. I, did his body really freak out there, or did I have a mini stroke? You might have had a mini stroke. That is a recurrent theme. Okay. Now, you want to see another really scary thing? No. Take a look at this guy. Totally normal dude, right? Yes. Of, He's oh, got snakes in his head. I don't. And he. What if? What if he didn't have snakes in his head? Though? That would probably Does be he really good for that? me. That would be really helpful for me. Maybe he shouldn't have snakes in his head, though. I couldn't agree more. Not having snakes in your head. Yeah. Really cool. Only cool kids have not snakes in their head. The Spanish word gorilla is the. Def a diminutive form of the of guerra, which means war. It sure became popular so in the early Guerrilla 19th century. Guerrilla warfare means war warfare? I hope not. It means little war warfare? I hope so. I don't think you do. It seems to really just mean like that. Like, it just kind of means that kind of warfare. Like, small. It's just, where does the word come from? I don't, it's like, 
Spanish for war. Like, it's the only thing I'm getting. It's like really like. So it's just it literally is, it's war warfare. Kind kind of yeah, and like the gor guerrilla. Well, it's it's a, it's def diminutive, right? What does that even mean? That usually means that you're talking about something small. It's like yeah, yeah, small warfare. So it's it just means small warfare. I guess interesting. So, yeah. Very interesting. Small warfare, huh? Small warfare, huh? Me. It's like small world. I said warfare instead of world. Do you like that? Is that clever? Okay, now this is a hard part. Because this is the part where the forest gets really confusing. And there's a lot of snakes. I hate Well, I don't hate snakes. I kind of like snakes. I don't think you're going to like these snakes in particular. Ah. Here's the baby version. No, I don't like them at all. And uh, the I like them versions. more than monkeys. Yeah, that's fair. I guarantee you we will run into the grown-up version at some point. That's another snake head dude. Um, I was gonna say something. Oh, you know what's another one? If you don't like um, little warfare warfare, what? Uh, there's a big one over there. Um, you know what the worst one for that is? What? The the Los Angeles Angels. I know. Their name they means mean. the the Angels Angels. It's pretty bad, huh? It's really bad. How about the scientific name for gorilla? Gorilla gorilla. Yes, of course. It's terrible. It's, it's a gorilla gorilla. Gorilla gorilla. <laughs> Could you imagine yelling that? Gorilla gorilla. Gorilla. Okay. Nope. Remember that no from more. Tarzan? Is it really? Yeah. I don't remember that. It's um, I love Tarzan. I don't know if I've ever told you this. Tarzan is is quite possibly my favorite Disney movie. Really? Yes. I've yeah. seen it like twice years ago. A really good movie. Yeah. Um, but there's there's a part where Clayton is trying to Tarzan doesn't know how to speak English at this point in the movie. Oh. Um, and Clayton is trying to ask him where the gorillas are. Mm -hmm. And so he just keeps going up to him and goes, Gorilla! Ooh. Gorilla! And then, like, Tarzan just keeps echoing it back at him. I don't remember that at all. No, it's not really a particularly memorable scene. I don't scene. like how the movie starts, that's why. Oh, Michael, we got something interesting here. Look at these guys. Um, that's just an alien. It is. Really? It is. It's an alien. That's just straight up an alien. Okay, well, where did he come from? In space. But this is, what about the Bloodborne? Alien. So, so like, as the cities fall into the blood poison. Yep. Aliens invade. Aliens are also here. Okay, cool. As it's long as we're all on the same page. Yeah. Um. The way Tarzan starts, I hate. With his parents dying? Well, that, and then the gorilla's baby is eaten by a cheetah. Yeah, that's a tough, that's a tough start. And they're like, it's brutal. And they're like, this this human child will make up for it. So it's, like, it's, like a, it's like parents, if their baby is eaten by a lion, they're like, this this small bird will fill the void. It kind of is. will raise it to be a human. That is, that is a weird way to think about it. Um, I, I haven't drawn attention to it because we've just kind of been doing other things and I was just really gunning through it. But I just opened like three shortcuts and cut the time to get to the boss down by like, I don't even know, orders of magnitude. Good. We Very are good. at the shadows of Yardum already. Good. I just need to run past a couple things up here, but I would have to do this every single time. Are you going to fight this one right now? I'll give it a shot. Alright. Might as well, right? Oh, hello, piggy. I hate the pigs. The pigs are one of my least favorite enemies in this game. Um... Tarzan? Yeah, I love Tarzan. Um, one of my favorite... My favorite line from Tarzan is the one at the very end when he fights Clayton. I don't remember that. Um, there's a part... So, I mean, the whole point of Tarzan, right, is... Um, Tarzan doesn't know who he is. Yeah, he's... Yeah. He's, like, trying to figure it out, and he's trying to, like... It's oh, not the shadows are right here. It's not an unsimilar movie to Elf. Please don't say that. 
but yes, um, the shadows are. I hated Indian. him because he told the truth. Okay, hold on. I, All right. I will. I will. I will describe why I love Tarzan after I show okay. you the shadows. Oh, hello. And this is why there's tr they're tricky because there's friends. three shadows. Hello, friends. So you have to kind of split your attention between three different shadows. Gotcha. Wow, I did a lot of damage to that you shadow. Did. You really did. So the most important thing is to not get hit by the fireballs like I just did. Stupid elite loser. Really good point, Michael. Very helpful. And you might think to yourself, Michael, oh, I get it. It's hardest at the beginning because there's three of them, but then once you start killing them, it gets a little bit easier. Yeah, no. You would be wrong. Oh, I'm not wrong. Do you see what they're doing right now? No, uh... Snakes just erupted out of that man's chest, and um, that guy just started throwing fireballs vertically instead of horizontally. Oh, fun. Oh my gosh, how, how am I still alive? Um, the longer you fight them, the stronger they get. Got it, okay. So they get easier because there's less of them, but each yeah. one individually gets stronger. Got it. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Oh my gosh, I don't know where that came from. Oh my gosh, I don't know where that came it's from over. either. Game over. Right. Sub-Zero wins. Sub-Zero did not win. Am I Sub-Zero? Yes. Oh, then you, no, Sub-Zero didn't, didn't win. No, you didn't win. Um, I think I can actually take them. I just need to play a little smarter than I was doing right there. How are we doing on time? Uh, 21. Perfect. All right, we'll go to the next episode, and I'll explain Tarzan in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. This is Poseidon. This is Poseidon. And we're signing off. Bye-bye.